When we talk about a healthy relationship, which skills come to your mind? Which skills do you say are essential to get and maintain a healthy, happy relationship? Probably things like respect, intimacy, security, and things like that. You'll probably say these skills are the key to a fulfilling and lasting relationship. Without them, maintaining a healthy bond can be challenging. And I guess that's true. Then let's shed some light on what makes a relationship unhealthy. Disrespecting each other's choices, hostile behavior, inequality, not feeling free to be yourself. These negative aspects lead to unhappiness and can eventually end the relationship. A happy relationship, however, can uplift you, create a positive environment, and bring immense joy. So how can you learn the skills necessary for a healthy relationship? I'd rather say that respect, good communication, and security are values within a good relationship instead of skills. Is respect a skill? Is security something you can learn? Let's look at three actual skills you can learn. Actually, it all begins with how you were raised. The journey to a healthy relationship should start in your youth. It's about choosing the right partner, knowing who you're compatible with, and understanding who you are. While it's best to learn these skills as early as possible, the good news is you can start learning them today. Let's have a look at what they are. The first skill is insight, which in this case means awareness, self-reflection, and self-knowledge. It all starts with insight, knowing yourself and understanding why you do the things you do. For example, if you're feeling cranky and you get to know yourself, self-awareness helps you manage your emotions better. If you know what gets you cranky, you can prepare, avoid, or learn to deal with it. It's also about knowing your partner. When you understand them, you can better explain and predict certain behaviors. You can learn from your own mistakes and from your partner's behavior too. When you gain this insight, you can decide to act differently next time. You'll know what is right for you in a relationship and in life. You'll understand your needs and wants. Let me give an example. Imagine you often get upset when your partner is late. By reflecting on this, you might realize it's because you value punctuality. This realization helps you communicate your feelings more effectively to your partner. Or imagine you often feel jealous when your partner spends time with their friends. Instead of letting jealousy fester, you take a step back to understand why you feel this way. You realize it stems from a past relationship where you were neglected and felt insecure. With this insight, you have an open conversation with your partner. You explain your feelings and the root cause behind them. Your partner reassures you of their commitment and love, and together you agree on ways to stay connected even when they spend time with their friends. By understanding and addressing the underlying cause of your emotions, you can manage your feelings better, communicate more effectively with your partner, and build a stronger, more trusting relationship. The second skill is understanding and integrating mutuality. Mutuality is about understanding that there are two sides in a relationship and both partners have needs. It's crucial to explain your needs clearly and at the appropriate time. When you grasp mutuality, you'll also recognize that your partner has needs. This understanding helps you empathize and consider both sides when making decisions. Suppose you want to spend more time together, but your partner needs some alone time to recharge. By communicating openly, you can find a balance that satisfies both of your needs. Or another example, imagine you and your partner have different ways of showing affection. You prefer verbal expressions of love, while your partner feels most loved through acts of service, like helping out with chores. Instead of sticking to your own preferences, you both take time to understand and appreciate each other's love languages. You start making a conscious effort to do things that align with your partner's needs, like helping with tasks around the house, while your partner makes an effort to verbalize their feelings more often. Through mutuality, you both feel heard and valued. This balanced approach not only makes the vacation enjoyable for both of you, but also strengthens your relationship by fostering mutual respect and understanding. You both learn to make decisions that consider each other's happiness and preferences, leading to a more harmonious and fulfilling partnership. The third essential skill is emotional regulation. This means managing your emotions effectively during conflicts, but also during other stressful or divergent situations. Emotional regulation is the ability to manage and respond to your emotions in a healthy and constructive way especially during challenging situations. It's not about suppressing your emotions, 
but rather understanding and controlling how you express them. This skill is crucial because it helps you navigate various stressors and maintain balance in your interactions and daily life. Imagine you're in a conflict with your partner. Instead of letting anger take over and saying hurtful things, emotional regulation allows you to pause, take a deep breath, and respond calmly. This approach prevents the conflict from escalating and leads to a more productive resolution. Emotional regulation is also valuable in other situations. For instance, if you're waiting for someone and start to feel anxious, this skill helps you recognize your anxiety and use techniques like deep breathing or mindfulness to stay calm. Similarly, when you have a lot on your plate at work or are hosting a big dinner for friends, managing your emotions helps you stay focused and composed, ensuring everything goes smoothly. By practicing emotional regulation, you can handle stress more effectively, improve your relationship, and maintain a sense of well-being. It enables you to respond to life's challenges with resilience and adaptability, fostering a healthier and more fulfilling life. These three key skills for a healthy relationship will really help you obtain a healthy relationship as well as maintaining one. I'll give you a short and simple example of a couple I know, Alex and Jamie, who worked through a lot and learned these three skills to get their relationship to a better place. They used to be caught in a cycle of frustration and misunderstanding whenever plans deviated from the expected. Alex, acutely self-aware, would feel a surge of anxiety whenever last-minute changes occurred. This unease stemmed from a childhood marked by unpredictability, making sudden alterations in plans trigger a deep-seated fear of losing control. Jamie, on the other hand, valued spontaneity and flexibility, often embracing changes with enthusiasm. However, Jamie's lack of understanding of Alex's anxiety sometimes led to unintentional dismissal of their feelings, exacerbating the tension between them. But now, armed with newfound insights and skills, their dynamic has shifted. They've learned to navigate these situations with grace and understanding, thanks to these three essential skills they've cultivated together. Self-awareness has allowed Alex to recognize the source of their anxiety and communicate it openly with Jamie. Instead of letting fear dictate their reactions, Alex can now articulate their feelings, laying a foundation for mutual understanding. Mutuality plays a crucial role as Jamie acknowledges Alex's anxiety as a valid concern while also considering their own need for spontaneity. They no longer view differences in perspective as obstacles, but as opportunities for compromise and growth. In a recent scenario where plans changed abruptly, Jamie noticed Alex's unease and calmly explained the situation, offering reassurance and support. This display of emotional regulation not only diffused the tension, but also strengthened their bond as they tackled the challenge together as a team. Through self-awareness, mutuality, and emotional regulation, Alex and Jamie have transformed their relationship. What used to be a source of conflict has now become an opportunity for connection and understanding, affirming their commitment to each other and the growth they've achieved together. All right, that's it for today. I really hope this gave you an insight into three skills to learn for a healthy relationship. If you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't be afraid to share your own experiences in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video.